Alrighty, welcome back, everyone. Um, so, we just took a very quick break. We're going to dive back into the game. In the first part of the game, we basically uh, really went over what we had uh, come up on, or what we inherited, because this playthrough is from a few weeks back. Uh, we are trying to consol consolidate our foundation here in our this sector. But we do have incursions by these guys. The Drengen Empire, or the Drengen Empire. Welcome back. Actually, I forgot to give you a shout out. Guys, if you haven't done so already, go check out Chick Drummer. Subscribe to her channel. Very chill. Well, for the most part, I think uh, sometimes she's chill. Uh, it, very entertaining. She is a very... Well, she's a cat mom. That says a lot about it. And she's uh, generally a very wholesome streamer as well. But I like to put her stream on background sometimes. And, you know, while I'm doing other stuff and just, you know chill out and vibe to the background music how goes the game i am i've managed to actually take over this whole sector i've caught all the actually colonized all the core worlds here in this sector um, however these guys in red from the neighboring sector are sending their their minions and shit over they've already declared war on us uh, and I was a bit unprepared for that, so I'm ramping up my ship production. They're already sending whole fleets of shit over. Um, I'm building up my fleets and like trying to get their shit where I can find it. I already have a tactical station, military station built at the entrance here. I'm gonna just see if I can kill their shit and then like concentrate my forces here at the entrance to stop them from going through. Uh, push through another station here and try to... Actually, I can maybe grab, like, these guys here. Make, like, a wall of stations, maybe. And then, you know, start getting my stuff to... to actually, you know, start taking over their shit. By the way... Can I make... Built for invading and funded plans. I can make transports. Which I should probably make. How much money do I have? Let's make it... We'll, we'll leave it at the end of the chain there. For the moment. We'll, we'll, we'll boost it in a sack. Well, technically, since we're at war, I could actually attack these opponents and take them over, right? I believe I can. If I want to risk uncovering... Hurry up in that direction, please. You're still en route to that guy. You're also catching up to that guy. Go ahead. The other fleets I have are just still building up. All right, well. It's also not a, it's not a, on a very high difficulty setting. I think it's actually on easy. So uh, it's, I, I shouldn't really stress too much about it. Okay, so is this co-op multiplayer PvP or can we be on this, on teams? I have no idea. I really don't know. But, hold on. Let's do a save here. Go to the main menu. 
Yes, we just saved it. Okay, so let's say multiplayer here. I mean, just I that part. Uh, let's see, multiplayer. Okay. Playing as low life path. New game. Game name agenda. Game objective is randomly assigned to all human players. The first to complete it wins the game. Humans are permanently at war with AI players and AI players slowly gain bonuses. The humans will die. The winner is the one who lasts the longest. Arena. No AI players and the human players are locked at war. Human players 4, galaxy difficulty, game pacing, research, set password. And then galaxy is a single sector, max 4 players. Okay, one sector, 4 players. Large sector, which is one sector, five players, dual sectors, two of them, and there are eight. Starburst is five sectors. Okay, night maximum, nice nine players, star frequency, planets, habitable planets, extreme planets, minor races, hostile entities, anomalies, relic, ascension crystal. Um, okay. So let's basically just customize it. Okay. Disable tech trading. Cannot, players cannot trade any technologies. Disable tech brokers. Can only trade known technologies. Your enemies will fight to the last breath. Surrender colonies. Colonies transfer ownership upon surrender. No fog of war. Okay. Victory options. Qu crush your enemies and dominate the galaxy. Influence. No need to fight when your civilization is the best. Unlock the ultimate technological breakthrough. Ascension. Reclaim ascension crystals and ascend to a higher plane. Alliance. Use diplomacy to bring peace to the galaxy. Defeat your foe. Time limit. Okay. Prestige. Build the greatest empire. And okay. And if we don't select any, then all of them are valid. Let's not do month, like. And then, okay. Number of sectors, a few humans, four game modes, starburst, no time limit, edit settings. Terran Alliance. Invite friends. So I'd probably have to add you to my uh, epic friends list or something. This is so sad. load back up it's, it's something multiplayer would be something I'd want to test off stream first probably see if it actually works or is viable or whatnot because this this is still an early access game right and I believe the multiplayer was just recently added see my epic thing here I think 
Okay, request sent. So let's, uh, let's figure that one out at some point off stream, maybe. Let's see what we're doing here. Where were we? Uh, where we, we got lost. Uh, well, no, nothing to do except the next, next turn. East nine. We're gonna go. Take their ships out. You know what? He asked for peace. We'll let him have the peace for now. I'm not going to be able to colonize any more shit here. And we'll declare war on him later. It'll allow us to actually build up a, uh, a more solid foundation front here. Yeah, I think so. All right, biographer. Biographers interview you so that he can write a book about your rise to power. He asks what motivated you to lead the drive off your home world and into the unknown reaches of space. This is okay, so we have to do something here. We have achieved greatness. It is our responsibility to share that with the galaxy. Uh, okay, we have only seen a tiny fraction of what the universe offers. So much more awaits. That sounds very... I seek new worlds to conquer that. I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, we do have a culture point. We do. Okay. Rushing is not limited. Oh, rushing is not limited. That's interesting. Uh, soldiers generate approval. That's actually really good. Famous will show you the what culture values. Double ship experience, iron fist plus 50 control. Uh, what do we have here? I don't think we've spent any points at all, have we? We've spent any points anywhere. Oh no, we have construction. Okay, we did get that. The uh, plus 10 logistics is actually pretty interesting. That uh, lets us get much bigger fleets. take that we did say we were going to be improving our fleets so there we go orbital ship assembly is also almost done okay we would like to reposition all our ships here and they're moving their ships out because there's nothing they can do here so maybe colonize that planet? Uh, why haven't I colonized that one yet? There's that. Large hull assembly is actually the one right after this. So advanced composites, and then we'll get the large hull size. But we can do now medium hull ships. We have, we barely started building the medium, the, the small size we can build the medium hull. So we're gonna really outpace these guys very quickly. Um, so I'm planning on rushing to the carriers, which are the 
Endgame ships, I believe. I believe they're the Endgame ships. There might be ships after that. But I never, I haven't gotten there in any of my other playthroughs. And I plan on conquering everything. Uh, it's only two here, but I believe this should be like a full galaxy, a full spiral of shit. My guys just haven't explored far enough yet. Okay. We still have ships. That is a asteroid miner. Grab me that, please. And an event. Pirate's craft. That's fine. Those little things don't really matter. Where are we? Another one. Okay. Good job. Let's move you up here. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll have like a secondary fleet here in the background. So when we do actually declare war on these guys again, we'll just quickly take over these planets. This one, however, is it still 25% in Rebellion, okay. It's gonna flip over to me anyways, eventually. Whether whether we invade it or whether just by sheer influential power, it's just gonna flip over by itself eventually. By the way, I might have forgotten to mention it, but the music tonight is by Sphinx, my friend Sphinx. Uh, found on Spotify under Sphinx, Sphinx Music. Sorry, I'm stuttering a bit. Is it that late? I'm over here. fleet of colony ships. I'm guessing they're going to go try to find empty planets here. That's fine. That'll just spread my influence a little bit more. I like that. This planet. Okay. Ah, this is one of our crafting planets. Good, so we can actually add some decent crafting shit to you. What is this? This is a tourism site, of which I have absolutely no use for. What's that? That's military. What is this? Influence, wealth. And you're at 666, so I guess we could put in a couple of housing units. We do already have. Let's, let's buff you up a bit. It's a really good planet, actually. Next round. I 
you know what? I think this guy noticed that I was ramping up my production of ships and he just shit the like, you know what? I, I would like to have peace. Little planet here, this is Virgil of which we have. Virgil, you're still building a ship. Can you build us stations? There are spots still up for grabs. There's one there. And then there was this one that we missed. You see? You see? They are insane! And there's one here. Sphinx, speak of the kitty and he shall appear. How you doing, buddy? Black alert. Black alert. Give you a shout out for Twitch as well. I was just talking about the, the music being from you. Ah, concentrate. We'll, we'll sort these out because I believe we can have bigger fleets now. Yeah, 11 out of 22, 11 or 10 out of 20, 22. So for now, just sentry mode. We'll, we'll, we'll compress them down into a couple of fleet, maybe. Maybe. Which I think will be a good idea. We'll have like big fleets of small ships and then a big fleet of medium ships and a big fleet of like big ships and all that fun stuff. Everything is departing from our sector. So good. I see you learned the error in your ways in trying to declare war on me. Don't learn quick that you done fucked up. Another event, sleeper ship. Mm, you know what? Iconians. So this is a this is kind of ironic in the lore. So the your singularity were created by the Iconians as servitor robots, and they rebelled against them and drove them to extinction or near extinction the Iconians are also a species faction that you can play inside the game and they absolutely hate the your singularity for that and uh, we have an option to get them as a free constructor basically have them as a civilian one of their civilians but we're not going to do that we're going to sell them off as slaves and get a little bit of cash yeah. Uh, and there's another one. Okay, uh, another. Well, these are also Iconian. Sell them as well. Yeah, <laughs> double evil after I cross this. I cross this guy. What does it even mean? What does it even mean? Okay, let's uh, let's get you on top of this guy. Where are we at here? Twelve out of twenty-two, and you are. No, come on. Dummy, dummy. What about you on top of that one? That puts you at 16, so there is a little bit of room left over. Where are you going? Why are you going after that? So you can actually build the medium ships really fast. Almost as fast as you can build the... Uh, oh, hold on. Okay, these that one you can build fast. It's just a laser one. Oh, 
Oh, it's just fine by me. Let's build three of those immediately. There we go. All right, that's filled up. Practical. And now we have a bunch of healthy fleets here. For the most part, we need we need definitely we need more bigger ships. Advanced composites is almost done. One more round. Silas. Where are you? What is our module tab? It's got a few module. And this is Virgil. Virgil is also complete. That is a almost full wing of... So I can put two of this. Wow, you can build shit fast. So we can add two more ships of that type on top of that. And, and possibly even a... Uh, what the hell, this is so like... That's a strange zigzaggy packet pattern. So I guess it keeps the same hexagonal, hexagon thing that other sieves have. Doing better today than the weekend, improving day by day. Oh yeah, you got you got sick, man. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm glad to hear that you are feeling better. I know what it feels like. I uh, recently have had a similar issue. Mine was more bacterial than, than viral. Large hull assembly is next. Large hull assembly takes 18. Oof. We're gonna have to put some, run some research missions then. Uh, which is, well, Ankara, here we go. That's a lot of missions. It's gonna take quite a while to do that. I think we can probably slow down on building ships for the moment. Get a little bit of extra cash from that. I see I have a little ships, scouts flying around. And they run into these little things here, the speed like you see them here, the white, yellow ones. When they encounter them, they get little things. And, you know, sometimes it's money, sometimes it's other stuff. You know, it's little, little, little encounters, basically. And they're basically just automated going around, just going from one to one. That's what you get a lot of these pop-ups from. All right, my ships are heading somewhere. They're racing off to somewhere. And I have no idea where that is. And there is an event. Oh, another sleeper ship of also Iconian. Cash out. Cha-ching. So we met uh, Altarians. Ah, our civilization has flourished for thousands of years. We know the powers that you cannot even imagine. There's only one form of life, and we are it. Everything else is going to get killed. Oh. 
Where is this Silith? All right, we got some room to build up Silith a bit. Let's put a research there. Although we don't get much research here, we could improve that. We, yeah. That's good. Uh, this guy, well, can we put, cannot, not enough antimatter, one per planet. And there's no room to put it either. How much antimatter do I need? Five. Okay, so I just need to wait a couple of minutes for that. Let's stick a couple of these in. Too many. And by the time that's done, I should be able to plug that in. Fusion power plant. Yes. And uh, yeah, since it's a big map, there is a bit of travel time. So I'm going to have to uh, upgrade the economic relic. I need to upgrade the speed of my ships as well. A little bit of cash. Where is this? Okay, so that's one of our first medium-sized ships, medium hull ships, yeah. typical with these uh, Civ types games, the further you get along, the longer it takes to process a turn. Virgil. You have a whole bunch of ships here, which is good. Okay. So I did say we're gonna take a break from shipbuilding for a moment. I want you to do a whole bunch of these research missions. So these basically just uh, reward us with a chunk of research, which will just chunk, 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 chunk out of the, the time required. Giving us 242 credits? No. No, thank you. Okay. Can we build this yet? We are one unit away from it, or half a unit even. We're at 4.5. Dang that antimatter. There's some over there. I didn't grab that, did I? No, there's some here that I am grabbing. So strong survivors, no. No, just we'll take the modules. Fuck that shit. Fuck the best on. Destroyed miner.
There's a whole bunch of ships in my borders here. Which I don't like. Are you, which one is this? Vendor. Vendor, you're only good for making us some module. Mutated animals. My pollution on all Midliar al Assad has led to mutations of both our livestock and wild animals. We don't actually have livestock because we're robots and we don't eat. But I'm just, just like, I guess, whatever text. Somewhat humorously, a local turtle was discovered with its tail and head reversed. Somewhat less humorously, the locals have begun calling it the Governor Turtle. <laughs> That is, that is funny, though. If we are uncareful, these mutations could continue to spread, possibly amongst our people. Uh, let's see. Immediately force local companies to comply with strict environmental standards. Okay. We must stop polluting, but there's more. We must also undo the damage we've done. Are you insane? Perfect. Have the governor, governor turtle brought to my private zoo. <laughs> there we go. There we go. No change whatsoever. Just you wait, you guys. We're gonna fuck you up. We're gonna send our robots over. And we're gonna fuck everything up. Uh, this is on... It is on mature. Okay. Just double checking. back on okay nothing happened in this round so let's jump over to the next the next turn now can I build this thank you okay I need to do some research to be able to upgrade some of this stuff, but since I'm I'm putting all my shit into sh making getting bigger ships, Icos shipyards, do research for me. We're gonna focus. It's kind of cheaty doing that, I think. Well, it's not. It let the game lets you do it. It's part of the game. It just. It basically, it's a way of converting your production into research. So it's not technically cheating. So there, there's a research mission. It just gave us a chunk of like 50 tech points. There you go. And we went from 13 days to 11 days. It includes humans. What does humans have to do with us? We're like murder robots, bitch. Seriously. Precious metals, uh, let's see, yes. We're now actually rolling in the money. Which is good. We can like rush ship builds and shit like that. More research. And even more research. Bring us down to nine days. Start one little. Oh, we have a we had a dragon on that planet for some reason. Oh, it's probably from where did we where did we get the dragon from? What the fuck? He must have come over from uh, from Asia too. Yeah, that's that's interesting. All right, well that that's fine. We have him piloting our our ship there. Which is not going to be doing anything. We're not taking over any planets anytime soon. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. How many people do we have?
I'm gonna move you out here to get you out of the way. I might actually fuse you with one of those ships there. Okay, uh, we went just went down to four on all assembly. Just wondering if I can grab all the. What is this, the Illyrium and the Antimatter at the same time with one station? Oh, hey, good. Research upgrade. Perfect. There's two slots open as well. And that's it. Okay. This, which planet is this? By the way, Iconia. Oh, okay. Iconia is finished building up. Fantastic. Uh, do a scan of the planet. And make me some money as well. Yeah, and some more missions. Four days left. Or four turns. I say days. I don't want to keep saying days. And our influence just keeps growing. Wait, hold on, but the... I told it to do something, then that went Explore, I told it to go explore, that's what... Just sentry mode there, please. Virgil, also you are... Nothing left to build. this shipyard just research we can also get cash out of it and eventually we'll unlock other missions that will give us other resources some of the other resources here uh, m random resources so another shipyard here Virgil this should be good okay we found something. Defensive systems. Okay, just a free upgrade for my explorer ship. Next round. Yes, I can get all of them. Is they're looking for planets. Okay, that's what it seems like. There we go. All right, so I did grab these things. The next thing I should grab with a station. I do have another this one being built there. As far as science vessels go, is the tip top champion of space magic right here, folks. Aki, how you doing, bud? Hope you're having a good evening, my friend. Meow. Hold on. What was I doing? I was looking for a good spot near here to plant a station. You know, technically something over here. Yeah, something like Grab this relic, manufacturing relic, okay. Plus the essential crystal, yeah, like right there. Okay, that's a good plan. Just buy it out, it's like 100 credit. It's done. Uh, we might need other things in other locations as well, but we're getting there. Dodging tornadoes. Well, don't do that. It's not good for your health. Large hull assembly. Now we can make the big ship. Cool. All right. Increase the capabilities of our shipyard. Uh, let's see what else can we do. 
improved life support, uh, extra long ship range, and logistics helps out. And I think that it also, along with orbital deployment, is going to be required for some of the further bigger ships. Plus, yeah, we're going to have to basically get all this stuff. Yeah. Done. Let's go. And another robot. Let's go. Set. Right over here. I want you right over there. At least we'll put a foothold or a toehold or whatever is the equivalent that robots have. Do you still have crews? Because I think it's just about time for your senator to be going on vacation, right? Since you're talking about fake tornadoes and major damage and shit like that. It's just, it's just about that time, right? Oh, we've encountered the humans. Hello, human. The flapping of talking meat are irrelevant. <laughs> I love it. That's great. We're gonna we're gonna kill the humans also. We're gonna kill all the humans. Increase the maximum size, increase the move of our ships. Hyperdrive improves manufacturing. Subspace field creation at points plus 10. This is for the actual star base. So many good things to, to choose from. The guy that flees the country when his state is in E, exactly that guy. The tornado's gonna have him. I, I don't think even the tornadoes will touch him. I think, I think the tornadoes, force of nature that they are, force of mayhem and destruction and pure chaos, even they know better. Ah, this is a tough one. Let's increase the movement of our fleet first. It's going to be fast. It'll, it'll, it'll disappear in like one or two rounds. Uh, what is this? Disciples? No, asking for trouble. Convert their ships into Starbase module and return them home. Yeah, just take apart their ship and sh send them home. Fuck off. That took off like two turns off of that one, so. Choose new tech, please another one. Slipstream generator, gravity field generator, another move plus slipstream drive. Increase the movement. Gonna increase our shipyard. We have a planet here. Oh, it's Virgil again, is it? Yeah. Until I start researching other stuff like improving planets and shit, because you can do that. You can start improving your planets and making more room to build and shit. There's other things. I'm I'm going like really military track in my research here.
Louisiana is only is going to get it worse. Oh dear. This one seems to be taking its time for this particular round. Yeah, it's taking its time calculating. Something must be happening. A couple of species at war, maybe? That could be entirely possible. Let's check out what this is. One of our top science researchers has fled our world for reasons we won't get into here. Our sources tell us he is hiding on your world. We would like you to allow us to capture and bring him. This one, we will capture him ourselves. Why we get plus research? Yeah. Now what is this? They want to trade. We give them Illyrium and defensive studies for No, I don't think so. Get away, human. And another one here. Survey report. Uh, whatever. That worked. We're going to be taking another quick break here for a couple of minutes. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. We're just going to have a stretch break. I recommend you guys do the same thing. Uh, stand up, stretch, drink water, all that stuff. Use the bathroom if you have to. Play a little bit of commercials, but we will be right back. 